What's up guys, Sam from Sword Style Guitar, coming to you from Fort Greene, Brooklyn, and I'm going to be talking to you for the third time about uh, subtle things that make, uh, subtle things about picking out a new guitar that you may not have thought about that make a huge difference in what you're going to prefer. So to me, there's four different types of guitars, more or less solid body. There's, um, there's the uh, Les Paul type, the Telecaster type, the Stratocaster type, and the PRS type. You try out, um, you try out these different um, types of guitars, and uh, you see which one you prefer. Um, it comes down to scale length. Um, it comes down to scale length, uh, number of frets on the neck, etc., etc. Uh, these things make a huge difference. Um, yeah, I would encourage you to try out one of each. You know. Um, Try out a Gibson Les Paul, try out a Fender Strat, try out a Fender Telecaster, and try out a PRS. They don't have to be the ultra high-end models, especially not if you're starting out. But uh, ultimately, you want to have, you want to taste each of them and see which one is right for you. And I would even recommend uh, spending, you know, maybe a week or two just trying out at least, you know, one of the four flavors every single day. Um, another thing that makes a huge difference in whether whether or not you're going to like the guitar is the um, the shape of the neck. Um, sh necks can come in all sorts of shapes. You know, they can be anything from a V shape. Uh, uh, let me try and draw this. A V to a U to um, a really wide. Uh, I can't really do it, but. Um, they can come in all different types of shapes and sizes. Uh, when I first started, I I liked to uh, read up on message boards about what people preferred to pick the very best one. And truth be told, you have to. It's a very personal decision. What is right for one person is not right for another. Uh, I used to think that a big baseball bat would mean better tone. It's not true. Find which one is right for you. Uh, I don't have the biggest hands in the world. You know, they're pretty big, I guess, but they're not that big. And, um, yeah, I don't really like a really wide and, and uh, thick neck, you know. I mean, it may sound good in certain situations, but it's just too much neck for me to handle. So I would say go out and check out um, your, your preferences. So to start out, play an Ibanez, um, an Ibanez shredder type guitar with a very thin neck. Then you can move up, you know, to um, maybe like a Squire Bullet, which has a uh, it has a, a, a step up from that. It's still a small neck. It's meant for smaller hands. And then you can just move up from there. You can move up to a Les Paul um, with a 60s shaped neck, which is uh, it's sort of thin, like a Les Paul Classic, like I have. It's a thinner neck. Um, you can try out the PRS Wide. A wide neck which is like wide and thin and you could try out Stevie Ray Vaughan custom which is a baseball bat it's not the biggest I've ever played but it's pretty big um, and see which one fits your hand and um, you know that's gonna make a huge difference in whether whether or not you like the guitar um, another thing that I think is really important is um, you know you need to be able to try a bunch of different uh, guitars at once and you need to plug them in, and you need to get to know the difference between a lively guitar and a dead guitar. Uh, to me, in my opinion, uh, the guitars that sound the best are the ones that acoustically respond well, which means unplugged, you strum it, and they're very live. And then um, when you plug it in, you just get a, a full, rich range of harmonics and sounds. Um, you can hear it ring, so to speak that's what I tend to look for is it rings out really well it doesn't matter if it has humbuckers or single coils but it tends to ring out really well so um, yeah those are just basic things I like to look for when I'm when I'm buying guitar they're not really talked about too much and uh, I think that they're really really important so just to recap that's try each of the four different flavors of guitars uh, regularly um, try tons of different necks to find out which type of neck that you prefer and also the third thing is uh, find out if a guitar has a ring to it so one way of doing that is you just plug you just take a bunch of different guitars you strum a E major chord 
and you hear which one vibrates the best and then you plug it in and usually that one is going to be the one that sounds best plugged in but not always so you know with that said uh, you know go out there and experiment and field test it and find out what works for you